only have a single PC at home and want to play multiplayer, now you can with Aster Multi-Seat Software. Today I will show you how to run multiple instances of Fortnite Battle Royale on a single PC running Aster Multi-Seat Software. For more information on what Aster Multi-Seat Software is or how to install, please check out my other videos which I will link below. Alright, now that we have Aster Multi-Seat installed and we have our three terminals set up, I have my middle station, my right and my left, and I've assigned keyboard and mouse to each. Uh, I haven't bothered assigning um, speakers to each just for this demonstration. But that uh, Aster is done. Uh, now we will demonstrate Fortnite. So basically I will launch Fortnite with the, uh, with the Fortnite launcher. And just to show you the location that this is in, it's in Program Files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite Game, Binaries, and Win64. And then you're going to want to launch the Fortnite launcher. So I'll go ahead and launch this um, on my main station. And it will launch um, without any issues or without doing anything. Now some of the other terminals we will have to do some additional steps in order for it to launch. Uh, and I will demonstrate that on the other stations. I've decided to start my second instance of Fortnite on my left terminal. So the middle terminal is still running Fortnite. And I will go ahead and bring up the task manager to show you. So here we have Fortnite launcher, uh, the shipping BE and the shipping uh, all running on the middle terminal. And what we'll do is we will launch a second instance. Oh, so again, we are launching, I'm launching from the exact same installation directory and we're launching the regular Fortnite launcher. So we'll go ahead and launch that. I'll show you on my third terminal where I have to do something additional and you may have to do this on your second terminal. Okay, I'm now on my third terminal, which is my right, uh, right system. So I've labeled it as such. And I will show you the other two instances of Fortnite running on my middle and left terminal. So there we have it. We have our, our left and our middle, both running. Both, both are in games right now. Um, as you can see by the processor and RAM usage. And we also have these other Fortnite executables running based off of just launching the launcher. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna launch my third instance on this terminal. And you'll see this one doesn't just start. It gives me uh, a message about uh, another launcher already running. I didn't get that on my second terminal. You may get it on your look at our running processes and what we want to end is our the one that says EAC that's currently running on the left and this has no effect on the actual left instance uh, that game keeps running just fine and what that does after we end that is it allows us to launch our third instance and it, you can see it relaunches the EAC under the right and once the game is started it doesn't seem to require that executable anymore so we are good. We are launching straight um, straight into the game now. If you try to launch the game without the launcher and launch just the, uh, the one, this executable from the install folder, it says you haven't launched it properly and, and you won't launch. So you're gonna have to launch it with the Fortnite launcher and some instances will require you to end the already running EAC um, executable. And once that happens, our game will launch and you can see middle, left, and right. Obviously, uh, my right is doesn't have as much RAM yet because the game actually hasn't fully loaded and we're not in a game. Uh, so that will happen in a second here. And 
And we'll start a third game. And as that launches, you can see the current processor and RAM usage for each, uh, each terminal. So there we have it. Fortnite running off one computer, uh, running three independent instances all at the same time with Aster multi-seat software.